What is up YouTube thrift school over here outside the thrift store on a dreary rainy day It's not as busy as I thought it'd be. Maybe the rain is keeping some people away Let's find out. We're gonna head inside see what we can find to buy and sell on eBay and Amazon. Let's go. All right Oh, what's on sale today? All items except blue So everything's 50. Oh, they got new stickers here Oh, they peel off a little easier, so that's nice. So everything besides blue is 50% off. Guess we'll look at the video games first. Wow, these stickers are huge. Some Wii U, so then that's 50% off, only three bucks for some Wii U games. They're not the best games, but it's kind of cool to see. Nintendo Land. All right, so I'm gonna start digging through here. Okay, World Kitchen, I've actually never seen that Cooking Mama. What else do we got in here? Cabela's, Harry Potter, should be half off, four bucks, that could be good. I know this Star Wars game's decent, the complete saga, and it feels complete in there, so we'll take that. So we got a nice little stack of video games here, some for personal, some to flip, and uh, keep an eye out for this. Not a lot of people know, but some sports games have some value, and this Top Spin 4, I'll pop the price up here for you guys. It's only four bucks, it's complete. Should make some decent money there. And yeah, we're gonna have to now look through the DVDs and the Blu-rays. Oh, there's still some video games up here. Oh, just Lego Dimensions. So yeah, we're gonna flip through some of these DVDs, Blu-rays, and hope we come out with a little bit of profit. All right, so we got a little stack of DVDs here. I'm not really gonna go through them too much because they're just basic, basic DVDs, lots of sealed things all worth it so now we're gonna check out they got a whole bunch of toys here all right i see a finding nemo he looks a little scary what i'm looking for is anything sealed or clue harry potter might be good this could be really good it's oh 99 cents at 99 cents i'll grab it and not even bother looking into it i'll do that with some things if they're cheap enough actually the prices look pretty good today electronic battleship for a buck 99 that's gotta be good uh well, I've never seen this. Clue, the museum caper. I've never even heard of that, so I'm gonna have to do some research in a second. What else do they have down here? This little bone game. What do we have for 99 cents? Uh, oh, looks at half empty. And then down every aisle, we got more and more games. Here's an alien game right here. This looks really cool. $2.99. I mean, come on, at $2.99, that's gotta be good. We're grabbing it. All right, so we've only gone down this one aisle and it's getting out of control. I haven't checked pieces in the used games, but we do have some new ones in here. I found another Clue Harry Potter. This one's a buck ninety-nine, but I figure if not all the pieces are in here, you know, I'm sure between the two games, there's gotta be all the pieces for a total of $3. You can't really go wrong. This Storytime chest, the prices are decent today, $5, but it's half off, so $2.50, and it's selling for about $35. Wordplay, another game, pretty cheap, buck ninety-nine. should make some money there. I never looked up that Alien game. Uh, we got a couple sealed things here. This is an older version of Battleship, it's only $5.99. And this thing is flipping for I think 50 bucks right now. I didn't even look up the Yellowstone Opoly, but it's brand new sealed. And then we got another. This is sweet, guys. This is brand new. This Makey Makey. They want ten dollars for it. Take a look at that price. I think it's like a hundred dollars. Holy moly! Uh, we got a Dungeons and Dragons starter set. That's pretty sweet. Uh, never seen one of these at the thrift store for a buck ninety-nine. Yeah, you can't go wrong. So that was only aisle one. Here's aisle two, which I didn't even look on this side yet. We have a Machi Koro for a buck ninety-nine. It feels light, but it might all be in there. I'm gonna check the pieces before I leave. But a buck ninety-nine. I know that's a kind of expensive game. What else do we have over here? What's this? Abalone? I feel like I've sold this before. So I'll just show you guys how I look everything up. I'll grab my phone and we'll open up the Amazon seller app. And let's see what happens here. There it is. Selling used for $23.85. After fees, you'd make $14.58. It'd be worth it if it's a buck or two. And it's 99 cents. So that goes in the cart. 
super easy money there, $11. Now I ship everything into FBA. It costs me less than a dollar to ship each item. It's a really cool 500 piece puzzle. I, I kind of like that for myself if it's 99 cents. Oh, it's $1.99, too much for me. So I'm just gonna have to keep looking through this stuff. See what else we find in here. Got some more sealed things here and just a whole bunch of games. So I might have to reorganize this cart. I turned around real quick and this is half off. Look at this Sony radio cassette recorder for kids. This is wild. I've never seen one of these, so it's only $7.50. I can't see a world where this is not worth more than that. So a brand new sealed Hi-Ho Cherio for $6, could be good. Another sealed White Mountain puzzle here for $6. That's gotta be good. This is just crazy. I'm starting to um, get a little bit of ADHD looking at everything. Okay, let's uh, start grabbing. All right, so my cart is getting really full, but I noticed something interesting over here. 2021 Bowman Draft box here. Uh, it's like all destroyed, but there are cards inside and they look like they're all rookies, all Bowman firsts, I think. No, not really, some aren't. I don't know. I see a bunch of first Bowmans in here, which means rookie cards. There's a lot of cards in here, but there's also some base, I see. Oh yeah, it's mostly base, darn. Maybe I should dig through? How much do they want for this? Uh, $10. I'll dig through and see if I see any rookies that I know of. I'm just gonna keep it in the cart for now, and then we'll dig through it in a little bit. I don't really have any room. Uh, right there works. And we'll see if there's any cool rookies in there. It could be good for 10 bucks. Uh, these talking chesses can be really good also. It's a chess academy. Let's try to scan this in and see if anything good comes up. So after scanning it in, nothing came out. Uh, some of these can do really, really well. Maybe even on eBay, but I'm just gonna set it back for now. Looking for quick Amazon send and flips. Besides those cards, those cards are cool. And yeah, so I'm just gonna keep digging here. What do we have here? Zombieopoly. Could be nice. And it's only a buck ninety-nine. Man, the prices are great today. I, I have to take advantage of it while I'm here. Yeah, there's just a whole bunch of stuff, and we still have a ways back to go. I never looked at any of those toys, so. This could be really good. All right, here's the electronics. We got a whole bunch of different stuff in here. Uh, oh, that's a D-pillar for clothing. Not really what I'm looking for. What's in here for six bucks? Just a keyboard. Hmm. There's a 360 for 40. It's half off at $20. It's not bad if it had all of its cords and controller, but it doesn't have anything. So 20 bucks, I'd definitely leave that. What else do we have down here? Any hidden gems? I don't know if you guys are seeing anything that I went over. Definitely let me know. But well, I'm not seeing anything decent in the electronics section today. Some bows, a Sonos. I know some Sonos can be good, but $200? It's half off, so it's only 100 but I just can't imagine. The Sonos uh, Play 3. <laughs> I, I'm gonna assume it's not great, but I'll pop the price up here. I'll look it up later. And if I miss out on it, well, I miss out, but I do know something that's decent are these guys right here. $1.99. I flip these all the time for about 25, 30 bucks on Amazon. Whoa, good catch. There we go. We're good there. This could go in the cart. And this cart is like way, way, way too full right now. So I just bought some long boards that might have not been a great purchase in my couple videos ago, but I found this. I know Penny branded boards are good. This is Penny Australia. And on the bottom, it's Homer Simpson. That's pretty cool. It says nickel. I don't know, it's eight bucks. It's not in the best shape, but the wheels spin really, really nicely. And I know Penny branded is decent. Um, these long boards, not so much. This back here is a Holly board for 15 bucks. Never heard of that. It's brand new, so that's kind of cool. We have a skateboard. Oh, we have another. What's that? Um, rimmable skateboards. Never heard of that. So I'm gonna look into all three of these, and maybe that skateboard. 
Crown? Never heard of it. Let's see if anything good is here. All right, so those other two boards are not worth it, but this Homer Simpson one, very interesting at eight bucks. It's a shame it has this little bit of wear on it. So if I sort by, I just typed in Homer Simpson penny board on eBay, and this is what comes up. We could sort by lowest price, and the cheapest one is 150, but in like super clean condition, then 165, 185, 325, but there's no solds but it's only $8. Maybe I could throw mine up. It's a shame it has this wear though. I might buy it and try it. Throw it up for, um, I don't know, $70, beat the competition. What do you guys think? Should I get it? I'm gonna get it. Now, I don't really follow baseball too closely, so sadly I don't know many of the players. This is still pretty full in there but I started sorting. These are all base cards, just basic nothing, and these are all the Bowman firsts, meaning it's their first trading card, I believe, uh, on Bowman, and I don't know any of these guys, but I assume this many rookie cards, there has to be something in here that's decent for 10 bucks, or not. But I mean, even at a buck each for rookie cards, if they sell for a buck each. I, I don't really know the baseball card market. I sell a lot of football, a lot of um, just Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff like that. Uh, some hockey cards, but I've never done too much with baseball. I don't know if you guys are seeing anything and screaming at the camera right now. Scre I'm screaming at the camera. If you guys are screaming at the computer screen right now, then you know. But there is just so many. And then, I mean, that's still deep in there. I think I'm gonna take the gamble for 10 bucks. I, I can't lose, right? Hopefully not. All right, I reorganized my cart kinda so I could fit more things in case I see anything else. I've got a whole shelf down there. I didn't even bother looking at the clothing. There might've been some really cool stuff half off, but I'm not even gonna bother. Uh, except this looks kinda cool. What is that? L Bean 13, so it's half off, so what, 650? Yeah, I don't need it. I do not need it. I'll never list it. That's the thing with clothing, you know? <laughs> Look at that. Merry Christmas. That's kind of funny. Oh, it's actually brand new with tags. Look at that. Great Christmas sweater vest. Beautiful. All right, let's take one more lap. They close in a half hour, so I gotta be quick. So I already have a few of these, but these sell pretty well, and they're only $5. These vintage aluminum fold-out chairs. Look at that, we got a brown one right there and a nice teal the metal they're super lightweight i have i think five or six of them in my garage right now um so i'm not gonna grab these but these ones are in really really good shape for five bucks each uh i've sold a couple but i don't know the market's kind of slowed down on me because mine haven't sold right now but uh yeah not bad something cool to look out for just don't want to store any more of them <laughs> otherwise i'd probably buy them what else do we got here? Do I take a quick look down the clothing? Oh no, let's go check out the kitchenware. On my way to the kitchenware, we have all of these baggies filled with toys here. They're usually pretty affordable too. That $2.99 a bag with a whole bunch. There's a little Pikachu in there, another Pikachu, a Lucario. Actually might not be that bad for $2.99. There's a Jigglypuff. There's some cool figure. There's a Funko Pop in here. That's kind of neat. $3, do I grab that? Do I grab this? Make a little Pokemon lot, a couple other little toy lots. I'm gonna for fun, why not? Let's switch it up a little bit. All I ever buy are board games. What else do we got here? We got some dinosaurs, these are $5. Um, oh, Slamwitch, that's a fun game. Oh, there's a few different games in here. It's only $1.99. We have a Think Fun game, a little puzzle. Huh, I don't know, maybe. What else do we got down here? Anything sealed? Sealed? Oh, what's up here? This is sealed. We got a uh, Sushi Go and uh, a Star Wars game, both sealed for $2.99. I'll grab that. I'll grab that, you can't go wrong. What else do we got in here? Got some Magic 8 Balls for 99 cents for two. It's a good deal if you need some Magic 8 Balls. Pretty cool, some Beyblades in here. Originally $10.99, they're asking a buck ninety-nine, and you also get a little game and a little butterfly box and a little mini chessboard. Probably leave that. 
Vintage blade blades, bay blades, I think might have a little bit of value. Got some lacrosse balls. There's some collectible card game. $3.99. It's half off some vintage Star Wars cards. Not super vintage, but those are kind of cool. These are pretty cool. We got some mini football helmets. I saw the dolphins right there. I think they're all from 2015. I saw 2015 underneath one of them. Uh, $3.99. I know some of these have value. I think the older ones, though. They're pretty cool. I'm going to have to look them up real quick. Look at this. Is this the giant Taco Bell dog? Nah, this isn't him. Dang. Thought it was the Taco Bell dog. <laughs> He's kind of cool. But he's staying behind. I think it's time to head out. They close in 20 minutes and I still have to go to the ATM. This place is cash only. We didn't get to look at everything. I missed a few sections. But the cart is so full, I don't mind too much. Pretty happy with this. I didn't even have time to count pieces, so we're taking a gamble. All right, so now the fun of trying to load up the car begins. I had to go pick up some wood on Facebook Marketplace for a bar, Ashley's building. So. That's gonna be cool, but for now, uh, I gotta try and load all this stuff in. Not too bad at all. I think I got some awesome finds, some unique things today. Things I didn't think I'd ever see. Things I never thought I'd ever buy and sell, like a Simpsons penny board. What the heck is up with that? I'll take it. I think we're gonna make some great profits here. I put back a decent amount of the video games that you guys saw at the beginning that I just grabbed and threw in. Um, a bunch of them just weren't really worth too much. Even complete, some games are just not worth too much. Ones that used to be worth a lot, you know, one or two years ago are worth next to nothing now. So, you know, the market's always changing. You just gotta keep up to date with it. And I am super happy with these board games. I'll be even more happy once I know if they're complete or not. I have not a clue. I just took a gamble on so many of them, but at these prices, buck 99, 99 cents, buck 99, you know, if they're not complete, it shouldn't be, shouldn't be too, too bad.